Hello everybody, here is Dave Swenson. In this video, I will talk about how to create a new Honeypot token which is the whitelist plus switch on and off Honeypot mod plus Honeypot Detector Proof token. So let's get started. Let's go to uh, our web page, create your own token donut, click on codes, and then scroll down. You can see the whitelist plus switch on and off Honeypot mod and Detector Proof token code. Click on it. So on this page, if you want to read a written guide on how to create this token, you can click here on the guide. I recommend it is a must read. So right now we just copy the code and then we go to Remix ID here. Then we click on create a new file and then we name it uh, Dave Token dot so. Remember dot so is the most important. So let's paste it. You must write it. So on this page, scroll a little bit, scroll until you see here. So right now, which is the token setting on the name, which is the token name, I name it Dave Token. On a symbol, I name it Dave Eating. On the total supply, I write it a million supply. So so one. So this is a million on this supply side. You need to add the active times of zero on the back of the amount of supply that you want. For example, here is a million token. So on the back side, you need to add the active times of zero since the decimal is 18. So right now, after we setting down of this setting, we go to the third button. Then on the compiler, we click, we select uh, 0 0.8.18. And then we click on compile. And then we click on the uh, so we can see the green check mark here, which means uh, compilation successful. And then we click on the final button. And then on, on the environment, we click on uh, inject the pointers MetaMax since we are using the MetaMax wallet. So let's see. So you can see already connected. So no worry, if you are not connected, it will appear a pop-up, you just need to confirm it. So on the contract side, you can see, we will select uh, Dave Token, so which is, uh, which is this. And then, right now, we go back to our Metamax wallet, and then we copy the address of the token. No, no, address of the token, address the, copy the address of our wallet, and then we go back to Remix, and then... We paste the address here and then we click on deploy. So, and then we click on confirm. So, right now the transaction is confirmed. Let's go back to Metamax and then we click on activity and then we click on this contract deployment. And then we click on the wheel on block explorer. So, on this page, you can this is the contract address of the token that we just created so we just need to copy address and then we go back to metamax click on token click on import token and then we paste the con the token address here you can see it is already here click on next and the supply is a million so this is the correct token you click import so you can see the token that we just now created is already here so let's test it on the so right now we're going to verify the contract which is a also a very important step. So let's get back to the explorer and then we click on the blue contract address token contract address here. Click on it. And then on this page we click, click on contract. Scroll a little bit down and then we click on this verify and publish. So on this page we will see the compiler tab, we will select a solidity single file and then on the below compiler version as usual we select a 0.8.18 and the license type we select none and then click on continue. So on this page scroll down a little bit and so right now we go back to Remix and then we copy the code here and then we go back and then we paste the code into the space. Then we scroll down finish the bot test traffic light no oh, it's a Chinese here and then we click on the verify and publish after we've done the bot test it's 
away for a little bit. All right, as you can see, we successfully verified the contract address. If you didn't see this, you need to repeat the step again. If you see this thumbs up and the green word here, which means you successfully verified the contract. So since we already successfully verified the contract, we go to PancakeSwap to test our token. Oh, oh my hand. So, this is a package swap, and then we click on uh, connect wallet, Metamax. So, if you are using, you know, Binance Smart Chain, the decentralized exchange, the most popular one will be package swap. And if you are using on the Ethereum mainnet, the decentralized exchange will be Uniswap. So, let's click on liquidity, and then we click on uh, add liquidity. And then on this page, we go back to the explorer and then we click on this so on this page you can see this is the page of our token here so we copy the comp copy token address here and then we go back to pancake swap and then we click on this in order to change it and then we paste the then we paste the address here token address and then you can see the token is here we click on import and then understand import so wait a little bit all right so right here we click on the add to liquidity because add to liquidity is much easier click on it and then on here you can see the amount of the is a million and you can see the balance of the BNB in my wallet is here so usually we will add around 75% or max to liquidity of the token so right now we we'll just add max and then on the BNB side I will add 0 0.5 and then we click on enable the VD which is enable the token and then click on X approve and then after it's done, you click on add, create supply, and then click confirm, and then close it. Wait a little bit. Oh, it's already done. Transaction successfully. So, which means we already add liquidity into our token. So, let's go back. And you can see here, this is the token here. The liquidity is here. You can see the DVT and BNB is here. So right now let's test it. Let's test to buy it and sell it. So when you just add liquidity, this is basically a mod of Honeypot switch off mod off. So right now everybody, I mean everybody can buy and sell your token freely. So let's try it, is it true or not? So let's click go back to the explorer and then we copy the token address, go back here, click on it, select it, paste it, and then we select it because we want to buy the token. Let's try it with 001. And don't worry, I will explain how to open the honeypot more later on. So let's click on swap and wait for a little bit. So let's click on swap. Clear confirm. Oh, what happened? What happened just now? Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Oh, oh, seems like seems like somebody's buying our token. Oh, never mind. Let's see. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the amount decrease somebody is buying our token immediately oh my god this is a surprise man so right now try to buy it and yeah the transaction is successful and uh, we, oh so you can see we we uh, we got the token here so right now we try to sell it create next and then we click on swap let's see what happened so on this scenario, everybody can buy and sell freely. So I can buy it and sell it because the honeypot mod isn't switched on yet. So right now you can see I'm able to buy and sell the token freely 
when I didn't switch on the honeypot mod. So right now, how to switch on the honeypot mod? Let's, it's easy man. So let's get back to Remix. And then on this page, we click on the little triangle here. So we need to scroll down. Expand it and then we scroll a little bit down and then you can see set fee on this button we click on this little triangle here and then on the new buy fee we write zero and then new sell fee 99 and then we click on transact so this step is the step of switch on the honeypot mode and then click on confirm and the honeypot mode will be switch on so let's now try it again we try to buy it again buy the token and try to sell it Let's see what's going to happen. Confirm. Yeah, we're going to buy it. We're definitely going to buy it. And, uh, and yeah, we get our token immediately back. And then we click on max. Then right now, right now, we are trying to sell it. Confirm. So, this is the, this is not the arrow that I got just now. But this is the different arrow. You can see it. So which mean you cannot sell the token once the honeypot mod is switched on. So how to sell the token if you want to sell it? If you want to sell the token when the honeypot mod is switched on, it's easy. That's because there's a new function called uh, whitelist which is allowed certain wallet address to sell the token. So since we got this balance of DVET, the, this amount of DVET in our wallet and we want to sell it. So it's easy. Let's go back to Metamax first. And then we try to copy the wallet address of the of the address that you want to whitelist. And then we go back to Remix and then we on here set fee as and we click on the triangle here. And then we paste the address that you want to whitelist here. And then on this, boom, we, we write true. And then we click on transact. And then we click on confirm. Okay, transaction successful. Let's go back to the pancake swap and then we try to sell it right now. Let's see what happened. So the arrow is not here and 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 I sell the token here. You can see I get my BNB back and the balance of DVT is zero. So I I just sell it because I whitelist the wallet address. So that is the explanation and the, how to use the function of the new honeypots whitelist plus switch on and off honeypot mode plus detector proof token code. So that's all from today. I will see you all in our next video. Thank you.